Hey guys, how's it going? Well, I thought we'd do another one of these Craigslist segments since the past few have seemed like they've been uh, something people like to see. So, uh, thought I would change it around this time and maybe the next few times I thought we would just do a certain brand of car. And, you know, it's always going to be more interesting if we find something that tends to be trouble prone. So, I thought this time we'd do Cadillacs and to uh, kind of separate uh, stuff that's probably pretty good from stuff that probably ain't too good. Uh, I set my price at 1500 bucks maximum. So we'll see what we get with this. Uh, you know Cadillacs back 45, 50 years ago, Cadillacs used to be the best car you could get in America. Yeah, if you had a Cadillac you were you were the top dog. That's what you bought when you had made it. You seen Mad Men drives a Cadillac, well there's a reason, that's what people drove back then. You didn't just buy a Chevrolet, you didn't just buy a Buick or a Pontiac or an Oldsmobile. If you had the money you bought a Cadillac and if your neighbor saw a Cadillac sitting in your driveway, they were green with envy. So, you know, through the 70s, you know, Cadillacs had big V8 engines, 500 cubic inch engines, four barrel carburetors, and they're just a durable old car. But you know, when I got into the 80s, Cadillac started making a lot of missteps. Came, came out with that Cimarron, and slightly before that, they came out with a Seville, which was basically based on the, uh, it was more or less based on the Nova chassis. And then uh, they downsized the Eldorados, they went on to the E-Body, which wasn't too bad, that's kind of what they'd already done, but they shared that chassis with the Tornado and the Riviera and then it just got worse from there and then in 1984 or so they came out with that horrible horrible 4100 V8 made a whopping 125 horsepower as an aluminum engine I think that might have been the one that was kind of strange because instead of having a cast iron block and aluminum heads it might have been reversed that it had uh, Aluminum, uh, aluminum block and cast iron heads. Is that what I said? I don't know, mixed up. Well, you can correct me. I'm sure I'm wrong on one of those. But anyway, that thing was terrible. And they started when they downsized the Deville. When they got, you know, in 1985, the Deville went from being the rear wheel drive version that everybody had known forever. They went to being a front wheel drive. And then the rear wheel drive was renamed the Brome, and they tried the 4.1 liter in that thing you can imagine that imagine how bad of a car that'd be and then they went to an old 307 after about a year and then they finally ended that run up with a Chevy 350 TBI engine just like in a truck and goes on from there you know they went into the Katera which was a car that was not ever a Cadillac. That was a, a European German Opel derived vehicle with its all its own problems. Not a very good car at all. Don't ever buy one. One of the V6. And then they went from that and they tried to do a little bit better so they started with a CTS and that car had its own problems. Same engine problems. And then of course our old friend the North Star started being put in everything and that it's history because we all know those of us who know about those cars we all know what's good and bad about a North Star so anyway enough of the chit chat let's get on with it and see what we got here first thing I'm in now let me warn you I'm filming the computer just like normal so the standard warning applies it may be hard to see and you may not all see this, all the picture or something like that because if I try to do that I'm gonna have to keep zooming in and out and moving the tripod and this tripod is a little bit difficult to use so let's just do the best we can and I'll, if you can't see it I'll describe it that's the gist of it and also I think my mouse is going bad or something's up with this thing because this computer browser now tends to go back two pages or forward two pages or all kinds of crap so you may see me going back to stuff that's not Cadillacs that's why so we're getting starting them where I live here in Huntsville and we're gonna tour some cities around here. All right, I'm in Huntsville, so I'll just give you an overview here. This is a 2002 Cadillac, 1500 bucks. 
You know what that car went for new? Probably about four, thirty-five, forty thousand dollars. There's a Cadillac STS for a dollar. I don't open those. The '66 Fleetwood Series 75 limousine. The one thing about those, you can't hardly get people to buy a limousine. And there's a '92 Deville. Yeah. '69 Deville convertible, ten dollars, and a Pontiac Sunfire. <laughs> what the hell is that doing on there? Okay, let's check out the 2002 Cadillac. I think I've already looked at this one. Clean, runs good, cold AC and heat, clean title in hand, no mechanical, M-E-C-H-A-N-C-A-L-E problems. Well, I don't believe that because when they say there's no mechanical problems, that's usually means it's got mechanical problems. There again, that's a North Star. Take your chances. Check out the 92 DeVille down here. Try to bring the page up a little more for you. Okay, let's see. For sale, 92 Cadillac DeVille runs but needs repairs. Never wrecked. Leather seats and dash in good condition, 750 bucks. Runs but needs repairs, that could mean anything. That was the one that had... It's the one that had, I think, a 4.5 liter engine in it, which is an evolution of that 4.1, that 4100. And I think that was a better engine, but I'm not sure. Now, that might have been a 4.9 this way. Might have been a 4.9. It's kind of rough. But the only problem with those is that it did not have that 4T80 transmission in it, which was a huge, the most durable one to find the North Star. This one still had a 4T60 or 65E, which is, in my estimation, also ain't that great of a transmission. Okay, let's go to Birmingham. We should get some good stuff out of this one. All right, here's a 2007 Cadillac DTS. That's the, rear, the front wheel drive, but that's the large version. That's the biggest one they made. Parked right there in front of the crib. Okay, let's see. Runs and drives great, but temperature gauge goes up to hot. There you go. There you go. A 2007 Cadillac DTS. Every one of you that preaches at me and says I'm full of crap about these cars, there you go. If they're so good, why do they do that? I mean, I understand. There's people that love these cars and love these engines, and they will just—they're just like anybody who's passionate about stuff. They just refuse to believe anything bad. That is bad news. And they said this was fixed by then. They said, "Oh, the North Star has been fixed after 2003. It's got better head bolts and everything. It's all fixed. No more problems with that." <laughs> it's just the water pump. That's all it is. Or it needs a water pump, or maybe it needs one of those tablets put in it. It's all you got to do. And the good thing about this car is you get those awesome wheels with it. What a deal that is. Price is very firm, so please don't ask. Will I take less? Posted five days ago, updated two hours ago. Somebody is smart enough not to buy that piece of crap. And, I, you know, like I said, there we go. I'm going back to Huntsville. I'm not throwing off on the person. It's just, it's just I'm trying to say it like it is. And I know some people hate that, but truth hurts sometimes. Okay, here's a 99 Cadillac Escalade, which is based on a Tahoe. So it should not generally have the problems that a genuine Cadillac has. Body in great condition, interior in good condition. Well, just just needs a motor. Just needs a motor. Now I don't know. You know, it's not a bad looking truck. Aside from the cheap ass upholstery that I put in all those, but asking six hundred dollars, we'll take five hundred. Why do people write ads like that? Just say you'll take five hundred. Nothing less. Already a steal of a deal. Title in hand. Uh, I don't know, guys. Maybe. If you like those. I'm not crazy about them, but see, this. if anybody knows why this computer does this, even though I've did all the diagnosis, you can let me know, and I appreciate it. Uh, 90 Cadillac Eldorado Baritz. There's many misspellings in that ad. Gold patch, package. Miles 86,000. Good tires. Needs a little TLC. It's a real eye catcher. Fast? I don't think so. Uh... That would be, you know, that's interesting, but not much else. It's if you liked it. That would be fun to fool with. 
Uh, to the, here we go again. 2002 Cadillac DeVille body. Great condition. Has to be towed. $450. <laughs> Let's guess what's wrong with it. I'm selling my 2002 Cadillac De DeVille body. As few auto repairs need. The gasket seal cover is worn, so therefore it runs hot. No, 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 no. That's inventive to write an ad that way. That ain't what's wrong with it. Everybody knows what's, not, what's wrong with it. And a few other repairs. As far as everything else goes, in great shape as far as paint, interior, AC, heat, heated seats, etc. So if you're looking for a great project car, look no further. There's a real stuff from a gang or anyone who actually fix it. Yeah, there you go. That's the sentence to, to read right there. Who Someone will who uh, actually fix it. Well, yeah. I, I, you know what? I guess if I had... Fifteen hundred or two thousand dollars, and felt like looking around for six months for a damn engine that was any good, or trying to pull the one out of that one and repair it. I'd buy it, sure, sure. I don't go through enough pain and suffering in my life. Let's just buy one of these and do it. No, guys, they're not going to do this. If you have one of these cars, and I hope you don't, and it has any problems like that, just drive it straight to LKQ and just get it out of your life. I'm not being mean. I'm just trying to warn you guys. 95 Cadillac Seville. That's not Seville. That's a rear, that's the Deville. See, it says he says up here he says Sedan Deville, and then down here it says Cadillac Seville. Well, that's Birmingham for you. Clean car needs tune up. Needs a tune up. Uh huh. AC needs free on. Clean seats. All original runs and drives great. Here we go again. Here's another one. 2001 Cadillac Deville. Very clean car. Needs light mechanic work. That's all it needs. It's just some light mechanic work. Maybe maybe the engine needs to be cleaned. Let's see what this one's got. Car runs good. It's a very clean car. Needs some light mechanic work. Nothing too serious. Needs valve cover gasket. Catalytic converter stopped up. <laughs> That's the first on one of those. Tires could use rotate and balance. Price up $1,000. Clean title in hand. I'm not interested in trade. Heck no. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. And you know, that's sad because those really, you know, those are really a nice car. They're still a nice car. Probably as nice as any Infiniti or a Lexus that you'd have, generally. But the things just have a terrible engine in them. Otherwise, if I had a good engine, there'd be a bunch of those things on the road because they're affordable. The GM and their stupid-ass cost-cutting. Cost uh, let's go to another big city. I don't think I can find any more of these in like Gadsden or here's a 95 Cadillac. Nah, there's not much in Chattanooga. Maybe they don't like them in Chattanooga. Come on. How about let's go to I've been to Huntsville We're here now. Nashville. The Music City. Johnny Cash might have had one of these. Uh, Cadillac Eldorado, 999 Cadillac Eldorado, 950 bucks. I have a 99 Cadillac Eldorado sale for training issues. Now that's a bad thing because they also have some transmission issues, but this looks different. I love this car and hate to part with it. I just don't have the time to run to fix it. This was my main car and I love driving it. Well, that's good. The transmission cooler line ruptured inside my radiator and let coolant into the tranny. It sucked. Yeah, that is. That's, that's goodbye transmission. You know that you can't blame that on the car. That could happen to any of them. That's a good reason to bypass that stupid transmission cooler in the radiator. You won't get that for it. It's had it for sale for 24 days. Here's another 99 Cadillac, 900 bucks. Needs a battery to replace fuel pump. It won't start in okay shape. <laughs> Jeez. 1999 Nashville. That's what it says on it over there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, here's a Cadillac Seville SLS 1996. Those were a nice car back in the day. My brother had a 97. Uh, let's see. Beige champagne covered 96 Cadillac sedan SLS. Damaged passenger side door panels. Needs from wiring replaced in the steering column to run VAT system. To run. VAT system, this system problem. It's some electrical work needed for power windows and trunk. New radiator last three years. New alternator, new battery in the last year. Tires with it. <laughs> 500 bucks. It could be yours. It's right there in Murfreesboro. It's not that bad. Why would you go buy a beat up Toyota when you could guys get a nice ride like this? 
97 Eldorado. 179,000 miles via North Star. New water pump, new thermostat, new upper radiators, runs and drives, needs air ride service, don't have time to fix. Well, if you've replaced all that cooling system problem, that, stu that cooling system stuff, you've, you've got another problem with it. Suspicion. There's a 2005 Cadillac. I don't understand this. You know, you North Star guy said that this was fixed, that these cars didn't have this problem anymore. That's exactly what you said. That's an inconvenient truth, isn't it? 2005 Cadillac DeVille now. Yes, this is a crazy low price. Pull apart buys this at 450 bucks. You better take it. I have several thousand dollars in the car. New parts, plugs, injectors, coils, headlights, grill, good tires, customer rims. I'm tired of working on the car. It's a pain in the neck. Amen, brother. I'm simply getting rid of cars. First seven hundred dollars gets a good deal. No nonsense, please. And it's not sold yet. You see where we're going with this? I could probably do this for two hours. Ninety-three, two thousand four, fifteen hundred. Runs a little, runs good, a little ding, and some clear coat peeling. A Cadillac with clear coat peeling. You think you'd get more for forty-five thousand dollars? 2002 Seville reducing 650 bucks. Some baby mother Cadillac like, uh, owned for more than a decade is cherry, but the oil pressure lights on and it failed Marta. That's the that's the emissions thing up there. We put a new oil pump in, but the light's still on. Oh well. Back two pages. Back two pages. 2003 Cadillac like Deville 1200 bucks. I won't even have to go to Atlanta. I got plenty to look at here. Runs great, 108,000 miles. Only problem is the radiator has a leak and needs to be replaced, still drivable. See, I don't see anytime you start having hoses leak and radiators leak and things like that start leaking all over the place, you got pressure in there that's excessive, like head gasket. 99 DeVille in Murfreesboro. Great car, runs, drives great, power windows, leather, the car will run a few while you will have to pay your sales tax. Needs a battery. I don't know. You know, and some of them they say they run great, and I don't know whether to believe that or not. 96 Cadillac DeVille for parts. V8, V4.6 North Star System, four speed automatic transmission, electronic viscous. Why are you listing all that? Engine runs fine, needs new air compressor and rear brakes. Well, you know, I don't know. Seems like it's a crapshoot. According to these people, some work good and some of them are crapped out. Here's a 2001 DeVille. Cadillac parts. This thing's going to cut off at 20 minutes. Brand new brakes, brand new tires, very smooth trans, beyond comfortable seats. I wouldn't recommend trying to fix it up. It seems every time I fix something, another problem appears within a week. Well, that's what happens when you drive a car engineered by Satan. It's a flood car, lots of rust. Oh, God. It somewhat runs and driving it to meet up. I have to ask you, why would you buy something like that? If you just want to get rid of that much money, send it to me, please. I'll give you my PayPal address. Just send it right to me. And I'll buy something fun. And you can watch me fix it up. Truck is nice looking and TV. Oh, it's got TV. Runs well, just needs a little clean up. I heard some noise from rear end. Well, that's, those things seem to do that. Not for 1500 bucks, though. Those things aren't cool like the new ones are. Alright, we got a minute and a half here. Grandpa's caddy. Cat. What is this? Look at that. It says. I'm going to read that. It says, 2000 Cacti. C A C. <laughs> Cacti. Cadillac DeVille. Leather runs great. Front bed light great. Grandpa got a new caddy. He got a new cactus, is what he got. <laughs> Welcome to the South, guys. All right, here's an 07 CAD CTS, 1500 bucks. Perfect interior, clean leather, no tears, very nice, very nice tear, and needs needs time to change replace. That's that V6 piece of shit, V6, German V6. They're terrible. Okay, let's wrap this up. What are our final thoughts on this? If you buy one of these Cadillacs for any more than about 100 bucks, you're insane. Send the money to me instead. Please, don't buy one. Don't buy one. And if you have one and it runs great, you can tell me that. I'm glad of that. But don't preach at me because I don't believe in them. I hate them. They're terrible. Thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next one.